Hello and welcome to Bell Cave Gaming. Today I'm having a look at the Blastoise and Piplup from Cosmic Eclipse and I based this deck off of a deck that was shown off by PCG Radio on a list from Japan um, but obviously for the current rotation because they aren't in the current rotation. So we're partnering Blastoise and Piplup with the Arceus and Dialga and Palkia. Now that is a bit of a mouthful to say. I'm going to refer to these guys as the boys. So anytime you hear me saying that, that's what we're referring to. So this guy here, um, it just sets up quite nicely because we've got a GX attack that we can use with just two MGs, um, a water and a metal, ideally. Um, allows us to do 30 more damage with all our Pokemon for the rest of the game. And anytime we take KO, we get to take an extra prize card. Now that can be absolutely massive because suddenly all we need to do against tag team decks to win is hit a tag team and then any other Pokemon. So if they chuck a Dedane down, we can great capture it up and because we're doing extra 30 damage with our attacks and both of them have 150 base, that's the game. Even if they've got um, got themselves that, I forget that tool card that reduces their HP, but reduces their prize cards to one, it's still the game because we're taking two. Plus we got four off that tag team. And if you think about it as well, when we're up against um, non-GX decks, you're taking two prizes at a time. Suddenly that's three attacks to win the game. That's just ridiculous. And what's even more scary about this is we do have the opportunity with End Resolve here to actually be able to GX attack going second and still get into the that. So um, as long as we start something like the Mistrevis up first and we're able to get into a Miss Magius, which is absolutely ideal, and that's the engine we're using here for our draw power. Um, Mysterious Message just allows us to draw up to seven in the, um, our hand and knocks ourselves out. And then we can ends resolve while this guy was in the active because this only attaches to the bench. Um, discard the top six of our deck, and as long as we hit some base Genji cards, we can hopefully GX attack immediately. That doesn't happen all that often, um, so that's just something to note, but we are trying to maximize our chances of doing that if we're going second so we really want to combo that into it but then the boys attack ultimate ray is absolutely nuts so for three engies and it might be for us two engies because we've got this counter game here which allows us to attack for one less colorless ng if we're behind on prizes and of course we're using miss magus so we're probably going to be behind on prizes early um allows us to attach three basic ng to um cards to our Pokemon in any way that we like. Search our deck for them, attach them any way that we like. So we're suddenly setting up our Blast Plup on the bench. And then our Blast Plup, well, that's got the Splash Maker attack for 150 base damage. So remember that's 180 if we've got our GX attack off. But we are then allowed to attach three water engines, or up to three water engines from our hand to our Pokemon in any way that we like, and then heal 50 damage from it. So that's absolutely nuts, and especially when you start comboing it with things like Mallow and Lana, which allows us to switch our active, heal 120 um, from the Pokemon that we switched out to the bench. We combo it with things like Great Potion. We've got a lot of healing power of the deck, so that really is the core idea behind the deck. We're trying to get the GX attack off as early as we can, and then we're using Blast Plot for lots of healing. That's the idea. So, yeah, that's the combination. Um, and we're using our Miss Magius just for that draw engine. Now, the Great Catchers are huge here because that just allows us to pick up GXs. And, you know, if we've got the GX attack off and they've got a Dedenne sitting on the bench, that's just easy picking for, you know, three prize cards, essentially, if they haven't got that tool card that reduces the HP and protects a prize card. So, you know, that's an absolute massive threat right throughout as well. Um, we've got... Uh, the one card I would say, we've got a green search, uh, Green's Exploration Engine just because we've got no um, abilities, plus we've got Power Plant because that's the only way we've got currently around Keldeo. But one thing I will say is the End Resolve is a card that I used occasionally, it came in really handy, but it's probably the card that we didn't use as often. And we might need to think about how we're getting around Keldeo a little bit more, so um, we might need to counter that. But we could also add in more healing pieces or maybe even some poker gears to be able to get into our greens and, you know, uh, Mallow and Lanas or, you know, other pieces a little bit more consistently as well. So if I was going to change anything, that's the one thing I would think about changing. Um, currently, we're playing a really high list of energies. That's just because we want to be constantly attached for our Blast Plot to heal. Plus, our end resolve gives us a greater chance of hitting into multiple energies with that. So yeah, that's the deck list and 
the ends would be the one that I'd probably play with a little bit to see whether we could get a better combination. But yeah, it's a lot of fun to play. And let me tell you, that GX attack is absolutely nuts. And I'm not looking forward to coming up against this guy when I get back to playing my one prize card Pokemon. But anyway, let's get into some games. <laughs> Hello, CY Dragon. Welcome. Let's see what we start with. We got Dustone, we're good with that. Wow, four mulligans to start the uh, <laughs> first ever round of this. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We'll just give you four extra cards because we're just a pretty chill bloke. Yeah, that's just what we do. So we've got greens, we got Reshiram, which is going to be able to one-shot me. Mmm, that's a problem. That is a wee bit of a problem. Alright, well, let's dust down. Get this Miss Maggie is happening. Let's go and pull out. The one they can't one shot is this, I think. 98, 270. Yeah. So he can't one-shot this, so I think Arceus, you're like <laughs> the man we're playing through. I think we want two of these guys, so we'll pop you off. So I kind of want to thin the deck, but I also kind of don't. <laughs> Um, we will NG Spinner, one of these guys, we've got our ends resolved which is really good for next turn. What else could be useful? So let's greens for our supporter for turn. What could be useful here? A stamp. Last thing I can afford is giving you way too much power. Another greens? Yeah, let's just grab it. Oh, we're ending on the next turn. Another greens is good for later though. So I'm thinking that's what we grab here. Yeah, we're fine with that. So let's stamp you. Do I want a tag call now? I mean, it thins the deck, but it means I can't really pop off the Miss Magius as well. Let's just hold. We'll make those decisions next turn. So the upside is end zone got to hit one energy. And we're up and attacking. Oh, I know what I should have got. Not another greens. I should have got another GX ball. Hmm. That's bad. That's real bad. Power plant would have even been good. Mind you, greens can also go and get counter. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. We can greens not even ends here and still attack. The GX ball could be pretty critical at some stage as well. So, we'll evolve. Gonna go with that to you. Oh, I need to pop you off. I'm gonna do that, which we will. Grab a couple of cards. Yeah, so we're not going to run Nens Resolve. Just because I have count again. And I kind of need that. OK, 
count again. And get ourselves out. Where's my cherish balls? Oh wow, I've prized both my cherish balls. Like my, both the others. Oh, well, this is bad. Although, Mysterious Treasure can make good of that. It's worth fun. We'll make good of it. We'll tag call ourselves. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can get Pokemon as well. Well, I have no idea what I'm doing with this deck, do I? <laughs> I know what I'm doing, I know what's up. Alright, well, we'll grab these two, that's fun. We're fine with that. We'll chuck this down. Chuck this down. I know what I'm doing. Chuck this to you. Uh, and this stage, we'll just ultimate Ray. Get 150 damage on this Reshiram. Uh, grab one of them. I do have the problem of I've got a Metal Energy prized to be able to only use the Arceus, Dargo, and Palkia. No energy's in the bin for you yet. So there's a bit of work for you to do with this Faulkner. And we do have some healing with the Mallow and Lana as well. I just realised, since it searches tag teams, I don't need the Cherish Pulse. Yeah, I don't need Cherish Pulse. Let's get rid of those Cherish Pulse. <laughs> Hello, Ice Beam Tokatik. Welcome. To yet another mulligan. <sighs> I'm actually going to go back and count the number of mulligans. So on the next game, I can... I can actually sit here and say, you know, this is mulligan number such and such out of such and such games. And I'm actually going to go and count how many of them have been like three or four mulligans too. Because it's actually ridiculous what's going on at the moment. We're going second too, aren't we? I feel like we're not winning our share of coin flips either. Oh no, we're going first. We must have won the coin flip then. Beautiful. Alright, well, if that's the case. Greens, dust stone. Into another greens. You're an evolution deck, so I feel like we can do shenanigans like this. Quite okay. And again, Duskstone, Amos Magius, Energy Spinner, Metal Energy, Got the hardest one there is to find. I feel like we will Mysterious Message this turn. I don't think you're going to be attacking immediately. Oh, holding the tag calls. I actually don't know what I want to get out of that just yet. And I kind of need you to bounce this stadium. <laughs> First time playing against the uh, new evolutions.
Follow my tail. It's actually brilliant, just filling your bench with Eevees. It's a good attack to have. Well, we got the water energy, so that's good. So I feel like what we want to do is go and get another greens and tag switch can be good for the next turn potentially but we also want ourselves a mysterious treasure so we can dust own tag switch on the next one yeah Because I want a GX to start with in this game. What do I want to get rid of? A power plant, but I don't know what you've got in the stadium battle to come afterwards. Let's just hold for a turn and GX attack. We're fine with that. Holding for a turn, GX attacking, leaving it that. Now, like these EVGXs are under huge threat. So it might even be just simply a greens to one of these, although you give it the 60 HP immediately. Although, is that Evolutions? Your Pokemon GX that evolve from Eevee? No. So you need to get these guys evolved, otherwise, <laughs> we're going after them. We will certainly be going after them. Bumping that Viridian too. Something we will be doing. And we also want to get around that switch run GX at some point. A head bolt at this stage, all right. So, we want to think about this. I think we're leaving you in the active this turn. We're getting two great potions, so we're getting a second great potion. Just to make it really hard. We're getting a great catcher. I want a second great potion, but let's prioritize the Dusk Stone. Just so we've got some more draw. So. We're going to get rid of Power Plant for Mistrevis. Dust stone here. I got one of you guys left. And that's my only other Pokemon as such. Hmm. There's something worth noting. Definitely healing this guy. Um Maybe we get rid of you. That's my guaranteed draw next turn. I'll get rid of you. So we'll get rid of you, go and get the Metal NG. That we desperately... In fact, we don't need Metal NGs right now. Just Water NG. Yeah. Chuck that to you. 
Power Plant. Miss Maggie S. Paul. Tag switch would be big if I actually need that, but I don't think it's big anymore. I think it's these two that we get rid of. And we bring up this guy. And tag call. We want you and you. And right now we just want an ultimate ray. Smack into you. Take my three prizes. Get a couple of water NGs. In fact, I probably should have dropped the other power car down when I think about it. So just two water NGs onto you. Oh, well, things to note for next time. Got a blast pup. That's handy. Malana, handy. Mischievous, handy for discard. Got the red and blue straight away. Getting the Glaceon happening, that's not going to hurt my abilities. Because <laughs> I have a lack of abilities. Tell you what, getting three prize cards like that is devastating. That stamp's annoying. But we've got Tag Ghoul still, so got something to play with. And GX me. Of course, that is something that hurts. I think we'll get Blast Pup. Out of the Tag Call. So we'll go and get Blast Pup and. A Mellow and Lana, although we don't need the Mellow one this turn, but we need next turn. So we'll grab those two. Then, on our other tag call, we'll grab ourselves out a Caitlyn Cynthia. Arceus and Diago, is that saying I want? Probably not, but we do need another Mellow and Lana. Maybe a Caitlyn Cynthia. Do you know what we do desperately need to find our way into more water engines? I mean, kind of desperately. And we certainly did not find our way into that. Okay, nothing there. We'll drop. One to you at the moment. And just splash makeup. So that's a GX attack gone at least. So you can still play the switching game and things like that. How many great potions have I used? Just the one. Going full on with these evolutions, but looks grass energy as well. Oh, ah, yeah. we could stamp you though, and make that a little bit more awkward. So that's an option available to us. I think that's what we do, and we grab the. Yeah, so we'll greens here, we'll grab the great potion and the stamp. That's what we want. So we'll just great potion are active. Stamp you back to one because I don't like how many cards you've got. I mean. Oh, 
I feel like attaching to you is safer. Just to heal you. We'll just heal you right up. Because we got switching options as well. We're also currently behind, so there is a chance into counter gain as well. To use you with just an energy attachment. You could go into a non-GX attacker. It looks like you're not probably going to get a good attack off with a non-GX attacker. So you're in a bit of a hard spot now. Going down to one card. No head bolt. We've got game now. We don't need anything else. We had it from there. <laughs> Hello, sexy goat. Welcome. Got the uh, the boys. Something lightningy. Good start. Nuzzle Jew. So we want a GX attack on our very first turn. That's for sure. Many greens. Mysterious treasure. To another greens, do I reckon? Or do I just guarantee the dust stone now no nah, because I need to guarantee the metal energy so it's got to be greens so this is what we play and then we can just manually evolve our Miss Magius on the next turn and we've got options uh, where are we greens 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 hello there you are yeah Get rid of Ends Resolve, because I feel like that's not what we're going to be doing. I'll grab Mistrevis. Chuck a Water Energy to you. I'm honestly just going to go and get a couple of Pokemon with this. Just so I've got options. I feel like you two could be really good. I oh, will leave it there. So I want a GX attack next. The other funny thing is about all that, we had the ends resolve if we uh, were going second on that turn, so we might have actually got into the GX stack straight up anyway, and being able to follow up with the uh, with the ultimate ray the following turn, which would have been like absolutely clutch against this deck. Because you wouldn't have had many lightning NGs out by that stage. So this will be building up to one shot, so I would have thought would have been the way. Second nuzzle chew for the night though. It's a fun deck. I get why people play it. I enjoy the deck too. There's a bit I want out of this. Greens, that is. It's got the Patch Risu straight up, so it's good for you. 
the Roxy, beautiful, the draw. So if we're... Let me think about this. Oh, you idiot, Sean. Oh, well. I'm just getting two cards out of this now. I've got to stop doing that. <laughs> I really do. But if we're using the GX attack here, is there any point on grabbing... Hmm... Do I just grab these so I can pop another one off? We're using the GX attack, so I feel like what we'll do is just grab another one of these. Get rid of a water. Go and get another Mistrevis. Darstone. Miss Magius. Another three cards. Got the tag, cool. It's actually really big because... Mm, it, oh no, it doesn't allow me to quite get what I need. On the tag switch play as well. But it does mean that I could go and get a couple of great potions if you start swinging on the next turn. So it gives me that bit of flexibility. Grab these two. Alright, GX tap. So I'm taking two prizes every knockout now. Allows you to snugly generator and get 11 energies onto the field, which is really scary. And I do feel like I have to stamp you on the next one next turn just to put you back to four because you're going to be out of roxy as well here and the numbers start becoming quite scary it's actually like if you can end resol ends resolving straight into these two this is a matchup you want to go second on I'm assuming you're not going to be swinging in just yet. It's all about be the snuggly generator. All about be the? All be about the. <laughs> so we're well, greens for our um, stamp. Just to put you back to a small hand. And we'll be all about the healing after this. Oh, you are going to swing in straight away. Very interesting call. What's that hit for? 140. Well, we can greens for a couple of great potions instead. We've got the tag switch for the Lana play, if we wanted to do it that way. Which we could do that as well. Let's go and get the great potions this turn though. Means I'm leaving you with a huge hand. I so don't like that. How many energies do you have on the field? One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's say it's eight, nine with um, attachment. That's 180 damage. Which would be one E power away. 
or I grab the double grape potion, get you up to 240. One, two, three, four, two E powers away. Oh, it's, this could be the wrong call. Probably should have um, Mellow and Larded and Tag switched instead. But we'll see. We'll stamp, yep. Put you back to four. Don't want an energy attached to anyone yet. I feel like no is the answer to that, although we have to. Um, ultimate rape. Take out two prizes. I mean, ultimately here, you have to get the Arceus, Diaga, and Piarkai. Like, you have to get this guy pretty much now, I would have thought. Which suggests I probably should have done the switching instead. But I just, I liked getting you down to a small hand again. Because what do you need? And you need the energy attachment, you need the Tappy Coco. I'm assuming you got two energies in the bin. Oh, you need to get another one in the bin. Um, and you need knee power. So that's a lot. It is a lot that you have to get, and you only had four cards to start. The fact that your Nuzzle Gathering immediately suggests that you might not have had it, although you would have. Yeah, you would get that Pikachu no matter what before you'd use a supporter. And we're sitting on Mallow and Lana for the next turn. Switcheroo. And heal ourselves up. Now the fact you're doing this one suggests that you don't have everything, although you might be just sitting on it. <laughs> as well. Got a Volkner, so that could get the E power. All the poker comps. You've got the poker comps, so it can get the E power. You're gonna get there if you can bin an energy. You need to be able to bin an energy. Can you bin an energy? I don't know. I did my maths right, didn't I? One, two, three, four. Get out of the way, Tappy Coco. Out of it. Shoot. Shoot. Get out of the way. Five, six, seven. Plus energy attachments, eight. It's 160. Oh, and E power. No, I didn't do my maths right. Because 160 plus E power gets it as well. So you do get there this turn. Which makes me sad. So we're not using the uh, <laughs> Mallow and Lana this turn. We'll attach one to you because we've got the tag switch option still. That's well played there. Okay, can't say I've seen a Reshiram coming. That is interesting. You'll need the Fire NG. Do you have the Fire NG? Possibly. I don't know. You did not need the other um, Electro Power. You already had it at that. This is also where a stamp would be really nice as well. Alright, so what we want to do is Cynthia and Caitlin. Bin you. Although I should have probably binned you. Grab a greens back. That feels fine. So I feel like I need to set you up no matter what.
Do I empty the deck of more supports? Although, you can get me the support or I'll desperately want anyway in the Mallow and Lana. So the Splash Maker. Take you out. Get you two. Under this guy. So you've got to one-shot me here. The other way is to put that big GX Pokemon in my way. Which I'm going to struggle to get around, to be honest. And you've got the Rose to go and get the NG for it. Oh. I don't think I can get around that. Because I can only hit 250 with a GX attack, and I've used it, so it's already gone. You got the E switch. It's well played. Can't see, say I've seen a Reshiram coming. Cannot say I've seen a Reshiram coming. That is a very good addition to this deck as a tech. GG's. Very good addition to the deck. I have to hand it to you. Hello first, welcome. This ain't good. Hey, oh, mulliganing for me, nice. I mean, tag calls here, so that's something to try and help. Got Mars, grass with hand disruption. Interesting. Draw a card, yeah. Let's get another end's result, apparently. I mean, Ends Resolve is what you want if you go on second. But you kind of want, you know, things you can use with it. I'm nearly tempted to just tag call, get a couple of Pokemon, and Ends Resolve. Uh, let's just tag call, get one Pokemon, and. No, because we want Ends Resolve, don't we? Because mm. we'd hit two NGs. Look at that, a supporter you can use. This guy goes down in the next turn. It's what I wanted to get the ends resolve into. Just so bad. It's either that or we just play it safe and go for more setup to begin the game. We would have got a lot of NGs too. We would have basically got into what we wanted. It's unfortunate. Oh well, metal energy. Hold there. Be interesting to see if you flip into this guy and take two prizes out of this mischievous, which means I won't be able to use you for the rest of the game. I'd say that's what's happening. <laughs> No, it's not. Okay. He's going to be happy with the one prize. Seems fair. Alright. Well, what we want to do... We've got another greens, don't we? I feel like bringing you into the active is good when I want to hit in the first time. Leave them for later. Maybe grab a great potion, because you'll hit into me somewhere. You know what I want, tackle. Yeah, let's grab the tackle. Dust Stone into the Miss Magius 
Energy attach. Count again. Leave Miss Magius for later. Um, which means we don't want to tag called just yet. We're happy just to run an Altered Creation GX. On this turn. Just to make it that any prize card I take is worth three. And these Pheromoses can get me three prize cards in a one shot now. And that's where great catches come in huge now. So it means you really have to go on with this guy or someone else. Because you can't afford to sit here with the Pheromoses. You can confuse me. That's annoying. I must admit. Do I have an attack through confusion play? Yes, I do. Like, sorry, I get through confusion play. Grab this guy, grab ourselves a Mallow and Lana. Mallow and Lana here. Switch. Get rid of you and you. Here's this guy. Rip up down. We've got the counter gain on you, so I don't need the energy on you this turn. I'm going to get three energies out. Oh, well, when did you attach here? Serious message. Beautiful, great catch for the next turn. Plus, we have greens anyway. It's a very dangerous move just trying to use the confusion play on this turn. Play that down. Ultimate rate. Right. Into you. Metal, water, water. Metal to you. And that was the right one, wasn't it? Good. <laughs> water to you. Uh, and water to you, to be honest. That feels pretty good. Everyone's kind of set up for one energy attachment. And we had three prize cards. And you now need to really protect these uh, pheromoses you got sitting here. And I mean, really protect them. <laughs> so you do get base ring turn. That's the thing you get. There's some beast art. You do desperately need to reset stamp me. There it is. I don't have a way to get out of that stamping. And this is a potential danger because I need an NG to attack. There's the NG, there's the greens. We've got game. We've got game right there. Like, you would not know that you need to stamp me again. There's no way you can know that you need to stamp me again. Just the old big cut. Greens. And just get me the... Where are you? Great catch up. Great catch up. You to this guy. Water NG to you. And ultimate rain. Smack you out. I tell you what, it is devastating to those uh <laughs> those GX Pokemon that don't have more than 180 HP. How quickly you can just wipe the board when there's those things to pick off is phenomenal. Hello, Latty. Welcome. All right, blast blup. To start, I 
Against Reshazard. Alright. So, Blast Blop's pretty good art plant then. Uh, we want, don't want Dust Stone, we want a Mysterious Treasure and another Greens. Like on this turn, we just get rid of an NG. The question is, how much do I want these two cards? I think I do, but we'll just reset Stamp and take a lot more out of it. Stamp you now. I know that's not ideal, but I will. Surprised this guy wasn't put up front, to be honest, going second. Mysterious message. Rubber cells, four extra cards. Sabre cells, another mischievous. I really feel like this guy is not the priority in this match. And we probably want blast blops. But we'll pop you down. It's not going to stop me popping you down. So the greens is here to go and get me the counter game. Got the switcheroo. I honestly think it's counter gain and <laughs> um, great catcher. Don't worry about greens on the following turn. I think that's the way we play. Counter gain and great catcher. Unless both of them are prized, of course. Like, you know, I've seen that happen before. I do think this will be a fold after this turn, though. Ah! Don't even need to get a counter gain. Boop. Boop. Uh, we need to blow you up now. Do we get ourselves a great catcher? No, we do not. It's unfortunate. Don't have draw after this, something to be a little bit mindful of. Um, NG spinner. I'll we'll get ourselves out of water NG. So we want lots of them now. So we want the great catcher. Oops, not you. And I honestly think we want the tag call. Just so we can start setting up another blast plot. Yeah. No, we don't get draw out of this, but hopefully we won't live to grow it up. Tag call. Cool. Go and get one of you. In fact, we can go and get ourselves a Cynthia and Caitlyn. So that's our sort of worst case scenario draw. That's fine. Blast plot. Uh, counter catcher. We don't need ends or mischievous. Bring this guy back up. And then say a little bit of a hello. <laughs> Do you remember when uh, <laughs> Rash's up was a problem? <laughs> wow, that'd be brutal, wouldn't it? <laughs> Losing your Rash's up, turn two of the game. That one turn, you just lost your Rash's up. And it is time to rate this deck. And starting with damage here, we are a two shot deck. There's no way of getting around that. Um, the upside is we are a huge Dedenne threat with the great catches and the fact that we can take one extra prize card with either of these guys as long as we've got our GX attack off. So that's a three prize card um, attack. So that's a huge threat. Plus we're also a huge threat against any GX deck that only has 180 or less HP. So, you know, Blacephalon's out there. I mean, we hit Blacephalon for weakness anyway, but taking three cards, uh, prize cards on the Blacephalon is just absolutely nuts so we only suddenly need two prizes uh, like two pokemon ko's to win the game that's insane so yeah it's it has its advantages in that regards but we are a two-shot deck against any kind of tag team pokemon um and we don't really have any one shot counters to tag team so that's something to just keep in mind um so for that reason i'm gonna give the damage here an eight out of ten because it's pretty good and we're putting a lot of pressure on with the prize cards but yeah, we're a two-shot based deck, so we're just giving that an 8 out of 10. 
As for the defense, despite us giving extra prize cards to our opponents, uh, we've got tons of healing and reasonable HPs. The 270, unfortunately that's an awkward number now with the Reshiram running around because people can now one-shot this quite easily with the Reshiram. Uh, but 280 is actually clutch because it just gets it back out of the Reshiram's uh, reach again. So, yeah, we've got a lot of healing, plus we have, um, you know, decent HP on it and just making them really hard to KO us and get those prize cards that they need. So the defense is definitely the strength of the deck, giving that a 10 out of 10. As for reliability, it rolls pretty well. I will say that if it bricks, it can brick pretty hard. But you can, because of your high HP and things like that, you can sometimes just get yourself out of it anyway. So, like, when I say it bricks, you can get some pretty ugly hands just because we're running, like, 15 energies, and you just might end up with, you know, a Pokemon seeing the active and just nothing but energy cards, or maybe, you know, just, just nothing you can really use. Maybe just one Pokemon and ends resolve, so that's suddenly useless to us. Um, so if it bricks, it does brick pretty hard. But it's tanky enough to get itself going anyway at times. Um, but if it doesn't brick, it rolls right through. So yeah, we're giving the reliability here an 8 out of 10. So overall, what do I think? Well, I'm not looking forward to playing any kind of version of this uh, version of the boys here with the GX attack in the future because I think this guy is absolutely insane. He's hugely underrated. Um, because it's really the first time I've had a look at him. So, yeah, um, not looking forward to him. I think he's an absolutely nuts card, and obviously there's other builds that we can go with here, not just the Blast Plup build, but partnering with the Blast Plup was a lot of fun as well, and just provided a great lot of healing to go along with trying to take extra prize cards after using the GX attack. So, a nice little combination, nice little partner with the Blast Plup, and, yeah, I'm giving it overall a 9 out of 10.